Hello and welcome beautiful. I am excited that you're here and at this moment, at this time that I'm filming this video, we just hit 18,000 subscribers here on this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support. If you haven't subscribed yet and this is your first time being here on my channel or you've watched and done a lot of my poll videos but you're not subscribed yet, make sure to do so. It would mean the world to me. And yeah, just seeing this channel grow, seeing this poll community grow, I'm absolutely excited. <laughs> so what we'll be doing today is we will do a stretch on the pole. So you basically only need yourself and the pole. I love to do this routine after a workout. So I've just come back from the gym, did a workout, and now this is the perfect time with this beautiful sunlight. <laughs> so either way, if you just want to get a little stretch in, or if you want to do it as like a calm down, a cool down after a workout session, a pole session, anything like that, this is perfect for you. Without further ado, Let's get to the pole. We'll start standing on one side. With your pole being on static, you want to stand right next to your pole. Your inside arm is going to come into a strong hold grip. It doesn't have to be crazy. And the outside hand is going to come up and over in a cup grip from here. All you want to do is just drop your hips away from the pole and let gravity do its work and just breathe feel all the work you've just done the strength that your body carries and feel with every breath that your muscles are lengthening let the stress go and just calmly breathe in and out Now lift your inside leg up towards your knee, letting yourself be pushed out to the side. Again, let the gravity do its work. Couple breaths. If you want, you can even look up towards the ceiling. Soften your gaze. You can even close your eyes. Now with that inside leg, take a step, put your foot on the ground and just stay here, feeling this gentle twist. You can make these movements as big or as small as you want to, when you feel like today. Good job. Now let go of that top arm and open up your chest, looking into the direction of your step. Chest out. Big breath. Both feet back towards the pole, a little bit further away. That outside hand is going to grab at around midriff height with your palm facing away from you. From here, you want to turn away from the pole. You can help if you want to with that other arm and really finding space in your shoulder. You can see where it feels most comfortable and then really pull that back side of your shoulder open. Continue to breathe. Beautiful, let go, 
grab high, step towards the other side, inside hand down in a strong hold grip, outside hand high, cup grip, feet are close to the pole and let yourself drop away. Beautiful. Same thing on the other side. Try to open up your chest here. You can close your eyes, soften your breath. Draw that inside foot towards the outside knee and also here let yourself drop as much as you want to or can. With every breath is going to go deeper and deeper and you'll feel a bit more relaxed than before. Let that inside leg take a big step, opening up in a twist. You can look towards the ceiling if you want to, or down. Good job. Feet stay this way. Your outside hand is going to come up and over, opening up. Beautiful. Open up that chest. Fill your lungs, fill your chest with air. And you should also feel a little bit of a stretch in, in that back shoulder. Maybe give yourself a little smile. Bring it back, both feet next to the pole a little bit further away. Outside hand is gonna grab with your palm facing away from you towards the pole. And see where it feels most comfortable to you. Maybe it's all the way up here. Maybe it's a little bit further down. See where you feel the most stretch here between your shoulder blade, back of your shoulder. The other hand can grab high, can grab low, or basically twist. Beautiful. See what feels best. And then also here, relax. <laughs> Don't force any movements, just really relax and ease into them, okay? Slowly release. I'm gonna go towards the other side of the pole so you can see better. You can stay right there. <laughs> From here you want to have your booty against the pole, your feet a little bit further away and all you want to do is you want to grab high, one hand is up and you basically want to pull the pole or push the pole into the ceiling as much as you can, okay? From here, you want to go into a little bit of a back bend, but it's more for your shoulders. So try to open your shoulders up more than you're going into a back bend, okay? Let's do this. Push the pole into the ceiling with your head facing forward, and the pole is basically in your booty. <laughs> and breathe here.
good job. Let's put our head between our arms and look up. Slowly come back out of it. Ooh, shake it out. Take a deep breath. Move your hips from left to right. Nice. And we'll do the same thing with the other hand on top. You're still with me. You don't have to go crazy deep, right? A little bit of a stretch is enough. Beautiful. So this again, the other hand is on top. And we'll push the pole away from us and into the ceiling, head facing forward. Good job. Try to bring the elbows together, shoulders down. This is more of a shoulder stretch, less of a back bend. Beautiful. Bring the head between our hands, between our shoulders, and look up. Awesome. Slowly come back. Bring yourself out of this back bend. Swing your hips. Beautiful. Your legs a bit further away from each other, quite close to the pole, and walk down. Hands are gonna come between your legs. Nice. And you want to grab the pole. Nice. Quite high, not super low, quite high. And then you can let yourself drop towards the front as much as you can, as much as you want, keeping your heels on the floor. Feel the lengthening of your spine. Feel the stretch in your hamstrings, whole backside of your legs. Shake your head no. Shake your head yes. One more time, no. And yes. Good job. Slowly bring your booty back towards the pole. Reach up with one hand and slowly come down, come up. Nice. One more little stretch. One hand is reaching up. Good job. What you want to do now, one more stretch for your tricep basically. Let me go towards the other side. Is from here you want to reach down with your hand as far as you can and then just lean away from the pole. Nice. With that bottom hand I'm just pushing my body away. Nice. And you can see how it feels if you bring your head forward a little bit more. You can feel a bit more of a stretch. Good job. Slowly release. Arm down, shake it out. We'll bring the other arm on top. Also with this one, reach down as far as you can, as far as it feels good. With the other hand, bring it behind your back and push your body away so that you feel a stretch in the tricep, in the shoulder. Good job. You can bring your head to the front, basically chin towards chest. Good job. 
Nice. Slowly bring that back as well. Arm down. Shake it out. Last stretch. Interlace your fingers behind the pole. Bring the pole inside of your hands right here. You can step forward a little bit and then let your shoulders drop back, chest out and breathe. <laughs> this one can be a little bit intense, so don't go over the point, over the threshold where it doesn't feel comfortable anymore, right? There's a little bit of a stretch going on that's normal. And breathe. Slowly bring that back, shoulders forward, let go of your fingers, shake it out. Amazing! That was it already. If there's anything your body needs or wants to do right now, please give your body that movement or that stretch. I hope you enjoyed this stretch on the pole. I basically always do this with the students that I'm teaching to just get comfortable with the pole and use the pole for different things than just tricks, you know? So have fun with this one, do it whenever you feel like you need to open up your muscles a little bit more or also after a workout because it's really, really important to keep your body flexible and get that movement going okay thank you so much for doing this with me today as i mentioned in the beginning thank you so much for over 18,000 subscribers i'm looking forward to where this journey is gonna lead honestly because of this youtube video i got flown out into denmark to judge at a pole competition which was an amazing experience so thank you so much for supporting me in just experiencing a little bit of a different view, different perspective on life. <laughs> if there's anything you want me to do, if you've got any suggestions or any questions, please put them down in the comments below and I see if you are subscribed and I'm definitely gonna favor the questions or the video suggestions of my subscribers. So. Just so you know. <laughs> Thank you so much and I will see you very, very soon here on my channel. Bye bye.